All right, guys, it's me, it's Tycoon, coming back to you with another review. And this is of Reacher Season 1 Overview. What can I say about this series? Um, it took me a long time before I actually caught this series, and I caught it over Christmas. And it's on Amazon Prime, you know, so if you're watching it on Amazon, fantastic. While you're doing some shopping for some really good products, you can also watch this too. Season 2 is out, and Season 2 I'll do my review on as an overview again, a little bit later on down the road, but this is where it started. And I thought, you know, people were telling me, just watch this series, watch this series, you will love it. And I was like, uh, I don't know, because of the Tom Cruise movies that I didn't really want to watch it, and it's Alan Richardson, and I do like Alan Richardson, but I don't know, is this the sort of how wrong I was? I'm glad that I listened to everyone, and this series was brilliant. It's based on uh, the, the first book in the series, which I think is called Killing Child, and it's extremely well done. It's a great intro introduction to the character, fantastic reboot, and more importantly, Alan Richardson plays, you know, he looks the part as envisaged by Lee Childs, the author of, uh, you know, the, the Jack Reacher series. Um, six foot plus and huge. And uh, yeah, th this show was really, really good. Every episode just hooked you in and kept you in there. Um, done as a murder mystery. And how it's been done was actually really well because you see the opening uh, sets it all up. And then you see Jack Reacher come in. Um, he puts himself into the middle of many events. And, you know, if you've not watched the series, I'm pretty sure I'll be doing some spoiler warnings now. Um, but he's actually investigating the death of someone who turns out to be his older brother. Just goes, you know, and so it becomes personal. And along the way... He's, he's doing his best to, to piece together everything. He becomes deputized by the local sheriff um, and, you know, ha has a love interest, uh, which, you know, is, is actually quite good the way how they've done it because they didn't force it in there, but he kind of felt it was going to happen. Um, and it, it, was, it was pretty good. The fight scenes were very well choreographed, um, you know, to the point where it was really... You know, it isn't a massive, long-winded, two-hour-long fight. It is over and done with within 30, 45 seconds, which is generally how a, a real fight takes place. It, you know, it's not like a boxing match where people are trained. The average fighter, you know, average person is going to take one, two hits, you know, generally, go down. And especially if you've got someone who's who's got army training behind them, you know, they, they, they aren't there to mess around. They didn't put people down quick, fast, and in a hurry, you know, and... They they showed this, they demonstrated this quite well. Jack Reacher himself is not a guy who smiles an awful lot, or cracks a lot of jokes. But what was good as a running gag is that he likes blues music, you know, and he loves the the, the blues very very deeply. Whereas he goes to a an area which is blues rich. It's a small town village, yeah, you know, a small town America, and again. The way how they've done it is that there's a lot of killings going on in a very small town, which shouldn't be happening. And you just see the psychos that are there, and you also see cartel, you know, uh, who are army trained. And Jack Reacher himself, because of his military investigative skills, the way how he calculates things together, I think the best person who's done this review is the critical drinker. It's like he's autistic, you know? He engages in that element of his mind that he's, he's very, you know, to one end. He picks up things where no one else picks it up, including the, how a guy ties up his shoelaces. You know, uh, they determines that that guy's had military experience, you know, and, and it's so well done. Characters, you know, and plot lines go places because they do it as a series, you know, so they have enough time to flesh out the characters, the, the past of Jack Reacher, you know, that kind of stuff, and, and the relationship that he's had and what made him become that way how he is. You also see members of his team, you know, slowly introduced, although they're heavily introduced in Season 2, uh, which I'll go into when I do my Season 2 review. But this, this series, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 
Um, I would strongly recommend that you watch this show if you haven't watched it yet. And I think there was even a cameo by Lee Childs, the author, at the end. Um, it, it's, it's so well done. And he gets to finally eat that pie, which you see him try to go into in the beginning, which turns out not to be the best pie in the state. He's had better. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really good series. The characters, all of them, including the detective, well fleshed out. All of them are really well done, uh, even down to the, the, you know, the villains. You know, the, 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 the antagonists of, of the series. Extremely well done. And kudos to Alan Richardson for, you know, delivering on this series. All right, guys. If you have watched Reacher Season 1, I'd love to know what you thought. What are your comments on this, you know, com uh, comments on the show? So leave a comment somewhere on whatever platform you're watching this on. Like, follow, subscribe, share. Let us know what you what you think of everything. And more importantly, guys, if you don't know how to do that, you all need to go back to school. So says the tycoon. 